Welcome to Modern Plastics TV the first and largest online TV for the plastics and polymer industry voice of global plastics industry since 2013 world's largest exhibition and the day second and it is just getting over the second day and uh, thank you Mr Thomas Frank and for joining us here with Modern Plastics TV how do you feel you know so many exhibitors so many visitors coming in and uh, new technology new announcement what is your feeling now today you see i'm smiling, smiling. i just started yesterday with the first day and today is the second day and it was even more crowded than yesterday when we started halls are very busy our exhibitors are very busy everyone is talking to each other and everyone is showing what they have prepared for the show what kind of innovations new technology the halls are packed not only with people also with technology and that's the reason why i'm really happy because everything is working and uh, yeah how many exhibitors and uh, how many countries because i see a lot of flags everywhere in this room so how yeah. many you're right so yeah k is the most international plastic show in the world and this year we have more than 3260 exhibitors all together and they are well, from 66 nations worldwide and this is a new record for k so so far we had last edition 59 countries now 66 nations on exhibitor side this is a real record and very international for k and uh, what are the special pavilions you have like i i uh, walking around i see that uh, uh, what are the pavilions you have you see our motto for this year's k is the power of plastics green smart responsible and under these three topics we do have the circular economy to be um, green to be smart the digitalization topic and responsibility is also the topic about caring about people that also means that we work on the image of uh, plastics that we also uh, yeah, try to find uh, new um, solutions to get uh, the industry attracted for young people, for young talents. For that reason, we also created a new special, which is our Young Talents Lounge in Hall number 8A. But you just mentioned we do have a startup area. There you will find very young and dynamic companies. Mm -hmm. We do have our special so uh, show in Hall number 6. This is the big stage for the, uh, for the case show. Here you can find panel discussions, keynotes, we do have networking events there as well. For example, on the weekend we do have the big networking event for the first time, which is called the Woman in Plastics. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, out in the outdoor area, we do have a big forum, the Power of Plastics Forum. And here you can really experience best practice examples for the circular economy. We do have a lot of exhibitors there with running machines. And in the center, you will also find one building from the VDMA. And in the building, you find also best practice products uh, out of Recyclates. So for the topic of circular economy. As well. What kind of message you would like to send it to the exhibitors and visitors as it is going to be live immediately? What kind of message you want to give it to the exhibitors and visitors? I would like to invite everyone to join us here because I think here is really the, 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 the global meeting point for the plastics and rubber industry. And for sure, platforms like the industry shows, they are sometimes mirrors for the industry and show what, what is the situation. But I think K is even more. K sometimes acts like a compass for the industry because it gives orientation and guidance, especially in difficult and challenging times, because here you can really experience uh, where the future is going to and all together here in the next eight days or the next seven days now I think we're all shaping the future of plastics and rubber together. As you are going towards the development of sustainability we speak about more how do you see the behavior of people and uh, industry adopting it? I think here you can really see that the industry is showing what what they are able to do they show a lot of new technology and machines, for example, to sort uh, a used plastic and uh, then bring it back into a cycle. You will find out a lot of new materials here out of recyclates. And these are then also for sure, uh, you can find it in the supermarket so that people can really see that plastic is not only bad because sometimes the image is really bad, but that you really see that you can bring plastics back into a cycle because it's such an important material because it's used in so many applications. It's in medicine, it's in the uh, automotive sector, construction and packaging for sure. It's the most important one. And you will find it everywhere. A life without plastic is not possible. So we have to treat this material with responsibility and see it as a valuable ma material also if we have used it once. The industry is growing, the innovation is happening, happening and everything you can see in one place that is 
Düsseldorf, come join us, K2025. There are more six days to go, seven days to go, and uh, we all, you are, all are welcome at Düsseldorf to see the latest innovation and technology. Thank you so much, Frank, and for joining here. We wish you all the success and the best of luck for the show. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you.